Hello, welcome along to the video. My name is Phil Begnett and I create content for trail runners just like you, all different types of content. And in this video, I'm gonna give you a brief overview of my first impressions of the brand new Sally McRae Strength app. Now you can get this app from her website, which is on the screen here at sallymcrae.com. I just wanna start with saying that I am not affiliated with Sally. I'm not being endorsed. I'm not being paid to do this review. It is just my initial impression of an app that I've just downloaded that I've started to use and I'm pretty impressed with it. And I think you should check it out. So let's dive into the app. So on the about page here, there is obviously uh, Sally's background, her intro, her goals of what she wants you to accomplish and uh, the requirements that you will need to do the uh, follow along training that she provides in this app. And you can see here, it's for anybody. You don't have to be super fit. You don't have to have lots and lots of equipment, maybe a couple of uh, resistance bands and some dumbbells, uh, maybe a chair and a wall, which I've noticed that you need as well. OK, you can interact with Sally via Instagram. You can even send her a message right up here. She does interact with people that download her app, which is I think is a really nice touch. She's also got a Facebook community page, which I've not uh, joined yet. Um, I, but I will get around to that because I think you can also get the benefits of uh, taking part in a live Facebook uh, chat every month as well, which is also nice. It's a very good tribal sort of community feel about it, the whole thing. And that's that really appeals to me. So uh, that's what I'm trying to do on my YouTube channel here is to create a tribe of uh, like minded trail runners. Anyway, let's go over to the workouts because that is why we're here. You click on the workouts app here and you've got different options across the top of the screen. Now, I haven't been through all of these yet. I was instantly interested in the running foundations area and the running foundations here. There's three different sections at the moment and you can see there's a couple of blue ticks next to the ones that I've done. The one that I did yesterday was the total control and stability balance workout. I've uh, liked it as well. It's 24 minutes long, as you can see, but it's not a follow along video. Uh, and that's why I want to show this basically um, what Sally thinks that the how long it would take you. There's this little intro video and let's hear what Sally has to say about this uh, workout. Hi, you guys. Stoke free to try out this circuit. These are the details right here. I want you to perfect this workout. It's slow, steady, controlled movements, but these are the things that are going to improve your overall form and strength. So really take the time to get to know each movement and master every part of it. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. I'd love to hear from you after you get done. Enjoy it. You can download the, uh, the workout. So you're offline. So if you, like me, um, take your iPad on the road and you want to do some workouts while you're on the road, uh, you can download them. And you click on start now. You'll see there's different areas or different uh, reps of different exercises that you can do in this workout. And uh, if I press the play button up here, you will go through a selection of short videos where Sally shows you the move. Uh, there's some text on the screen here. She tells you how many reps and if I press this uh, three lines along the bottom here, you will see the information for each of the uh, moves as well. So this is a single leg runner's stance just to get the basic movements right. So she gives you, you know, some more information and guidance about where you'd like, where you need to be, you know, keep your knee, drive your knee up, keep it at a 90 degree angle. And then, you know, how many reps and how many reps for each leg. So uh, what I like about this is uh, what I wasn't sure about at the time is I thought it was going to be a follow along where she would be talking and I, you know, I would be staying in time with her. Uh, and initially I was disappointed it wasn't, but actually this, this way around makes much more sense because this allows you to do what you want to do at your own pace. Sally is on the screen here and it's literally a loop over and over again to show you the best form for this video, uh, sorry, for this workout. Once you've done the workout, you can literally go to each section and do I move on to the next one. They are really, really excellent. I mean, as you can see, Sally is super fit. She is super strong. And I have been thoroughly impressed with doing all of these. This one here, for example, this, um, this single leg standing raise. Now that looks easy, but I tell you what, if you've got weak ankles like me, uh, it's really not easy at all. So you get the idea. It shows, so Sally shows you how to do each move. She gives you more information on the screen. And then once you've completed that section, you can swipe 
to complete it and move on to the next one. Uh, let's quickly go to another one, which I did the other day. Lower body strength routine. This is also excellent. This is a bit longer, so there's more exercises in this one. She goes through which equipment that you need, which is not much. Dumbbells, a small inflatable ball or a towel. And then you literally click on the start now button. Oh, let's go back in a minute. So you see there, there's a Spotify icon as well. So you could literally click on your Spotify account if you, if you have one, if you're somebody that likes to work out to music. She's also put together some uh, some uh, up up tempo tunes to uh, allow you to do some workouts alongside with her. So there we go. These are all the different sections of the lower body strength and core workout. And once again, you literally you could either you could pick and choose which ones you want to do. So you don't necessarily have to do them all. They're all pretty simple. Uh, once again, uh, this one here I found was quite difficult. It looks easy and it looks it looks a bit funny, but. This is really, really, really good for your glute strength. And once again, she tells you the reps. So 10 on each leg, probably three times over. Yeah, three sets of 10 on each leg there and how to do it. And so I found myself just putting my Strava, uh, sorry, my workout app onto my Chorus Watch, following along, getting the technique. And as Sally says um, on her intro video, it's more important of getting these techniques done and doing them nice and slowly. And then you will build resistance and a lot more strength. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, brief overview of the Sally McRae Strength app. I thoroughly recommend it. I will be using it uh, for the foreseeable future. There is plenty of things to be getting to keep me interested on here. There's going to be run workouts. There's 30 day full strength um, challenges and routines. And like I said, it's a very community based app, which I'm very, very impressed with. So there you go. There's my quick overview and first impressions of the app. Let me know what you think of the app, what it looks like to you with your first impressions. Let me know in the comments below. Also, just reach out to me and let me know what strength and conditioning you currently do and whether it's working out for you or not. Really keen to hear from other trail runners across YouTube. Please uh, consider liking and subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care for now. Take care for now.